culture of safety is a journey not a destination it's a continuous process of staying vigilant and learning at every moment at manipal intensive care unit safety always comes first coupled with excellent high end intensive care treatment for over 25 years the icu unit at manipal hospital old airport road has provided state of the art critical care with patient safety always foremost in our mind our journey began in 1997 when the hospital opened the department of critical care medicine intensive care at that stage was a new emerging branch and the leadership with a far sighted vision introduced this new specialty into the hospital one of the first of its kind unit in the country that started with 11 beds including one isolated two dialysis beds and one consultant due to the growing patient load an associate consultant was added in 1999 the year 2001 marked a major milestone when the critical care unit was recognized as one of the first seven centers across the country for national board training in critical care medicine the training in critical care was introduced in the country for the first time and this department had the unique distinction of being one of the first to be recognized for this training program the department had dr sunil karant and dr indranil chatterjee as the first candidates for the same including 15 nurses an additional nurse in charge the increasing demand and changing patient profile of this now evolved tertiary level icu needed further modification in the care plan and went on to have a respiratory therapist the growth journey continued in 2002 with the expansion of 19 beds including 9 additional beds called intermediary care unit it soon began functioning as a full fledged icu including two dialysis beds taking the number of beds for dialysis to 4 and the unit now had a strength of 30 nurses with one registrar and one resident in each shift the year 2003 was again a landmark year with the completion of the first batch of FNB graduates a total of 40 nursing staff four consultants and one respiratory therapist were added in the year 2005 The expanded renovated ICU unit in 2009 added 23 beds together with 75 nursing staff and the state of the art ultrasound equipment. Our commitment to healing, caring and helping led the way to new inpatient units comprising of four liver transplants and isolation rooms with dialysis facilities in 2009. A major milestone was accomplished in 2010 when the MICU was upgraded and crossed 1000 admissions in a calendar year with an addition of ECMO to ICU while the point of care ABG analyzer and stat lab was added the unit also opened two dedicated rooms for junior doctors and an exclusive dining room for ICU staff two additional registrars as part of its improvement initiatives the department in addition to excellence in clinical care also took major initiatives for the welfare of clinical and paraclinical staff 2012 marked the change in preparing us for bigger opportunities and growth with the beginning of a medical emergency team for the entire hospital This was a unique feature and one of the first of its kind added to the critical care services expanding the expertise of ICU team beyond the walls of the ICU to monitor borderline sick patients outside the ICU and identify them prior to significant worsening this led to a marked decrease in the number of code blue calls and cardiac arrests in the wards improving the patient safety net across the hospital The ICU unit continued to grow in 2014, taking the total number of beds to 28 beds. 2015 witnessed another expansion of the MICU when 10 more beds from the neuro ICU were merged with it. 2016, the unit completed a major expansion and renovation work 
creating a state-of-the-art facility with 35 beds, each bed in a separate cubicle and also adding six negative pressure and four positive pressure isolation beds. An addition of several equipments and machines like hoist, ultrasound, ABG, bronchoscopy, etc. The unit also added a full-time patient counselor to provide wholesome care to the patients and families in their time of crisis. Neuromonitoring unit for intracranial pressure was introduced. 2019 ushered a new era of critical care medicine here at MICU which saw the ICU unit welcoming 165 nursing staff, two nursing in charge, one nurse manager along with two PCC and one respiratory therapist. We also gained 15 more beds for a total of 50 with dialysis facilities out of which 11 designated isolation beds. The year 2021 presented unprecedented challenges with an average of five to seven patients being administered ECMO during the second wave of the pandemic with results that were reproducible to the best in the world. But the unit stood up to the challenge with a temporary increase of 76 beds as well as renting equipment and overviewing another 25 critically sick patients in other ICUs in the hospital. Six additional ICU consultants were also hired as part of the process and all the unit staff displayed exemplary work ethics during the tough phase. During the COVID pandemic, the ICU clinical team was part of the critical care support team for the government of Karnataka a unique public-private partnership wherein the ICU team were connected remotely to 15 major district public hospitals to manage critically ill COVID-19 patients. Presently, in 2022, we're on a massive expansion drive with total beds numbering 50 divided into four zones with dialysis facility and sufficient manpower, additional recruitment of a grief counselor, a housekeeping staff numbering 30 with wide range of world-class equipments at our disposal. We're indebted to our esteemed past and current panel of specialists that include the chairman of critical care services, the consultants and all the support staff who have been relentlessly offering their services during the recent challenging times and present. The unit regularly also offers opportunities to our nurses and support staff to upgrade their critical care delivery skills for their continuous improvement and growth. With an illustrious past, a great track record and a luminous present, the department is preparing for bigger tasks for the future to implement high quality critical care closer to every patient. Work is being done to combine AI and IT with patient care. These include integrating the ICU across the cluster, seamless automated patient monitoring and data capture and providing ICU to peripheral health centers through EICU. Our other cluster hospitals have incorporated practices, policies and expertise from this particular unit. Many of our staff have branched out to other hospitals and now there is a culture of quality and safety inspired from old airport road unit seen across all other cluster hospitals. Safety first is safety always and we at MICU will continue to serve while manifesting this motto within us. We are Manipal Intensive Care Unit. You can always count on us.